Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So, don't mind how I look. I literally just woke up. But, mm -mm -mm. in today's video, I want to take you guys through my Sunday with me. Because normally on Sundays is my reset days. It's where I chill. It's where I clean up. It's where I organize, it's where I plan for the rest of the week. So, yeah. Right now, it's like 1.30. And, because I was out yesterday. So, I'm literally just not waking up. But, right now, I'm about to start getting up. Brush my teeth, wash my face. I'm going to hop in the shower. And when I was in Tennessee State, I used to go to Mount Zion Church. But they have online church, like they'll um, record the service. And I think I'm going to watch that and like write down, like journal some stuff down while I'm watching the church. I also need to clean my room today. I also need a plan like for the week. So yeah, I'm just going to take you guys with me. But first, I need to brush my teeth and wash my face because my breath is funky. see what my face is looking like because I'm when I get my job and I started getting money I'm about to do that TikTok uh skincare routine where they buy the Dell the doll or Dell the D-I-A-L soap they buy the vitamin E oil and then they buy something else they buy to get their skin clear because if you look at my skin like I got bumps on it it's like super dry and then I have eczema, and I could tell, like, it's starting to come back. So I'm trying to get my skin back clear before I get back. Oh, don't mind now. Like I said, I just woke up. <laughs> Not too much. I'm about to wash my face. But, um, yeah, it's just a lot going on. I want my skin to be as clear as possible before I get back on campus. So, yeah, but the stuff that I'm using right now is this Shea Moisture African Black Soap, which I have in this um, soap. What is this? Like the soap uh, storage box thing so nobody else can touch it. Um, I also use this facial spray. This rose water facial spray. And I use the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I used to use the wash, like the face wash, but I ran out. And this shit is expensive. It's like $20. And like I said, I ain't been working, so I never bought it again. That's why I use the African Black Soap. And I noticed that my skin has been getting dry. And one thing about this, it dries out your skin. So I've been using um, the Dove Sensitive Bar Soap as well. But I left it downstairs and I feel like getting it. So I'm just going to use this and the facial spray and the moisturizer. So I just got done washing my face and brushing my teeth. Now we finna get into cleaning my room. Now before I show you my room, what it looks like, 
I want y'all to know that I do share a room with two of my brothers, my stepbrother and then my blood brother. So we're just going to be, I'm going to try and just show my stuff. And yeah, I'm going to just show you what I need to clean up, what I need to fold, what I need to straighten up. And if you do see like my brother's side, don't do too much because he's going to clean up when he gets back home. But yeah, please don't judge me because like I said, I just moved back home not too long ago and i'm still living out of my tote bins i don't know if you watch <clears throat> me packing to come back home but those little totes that i put all my clothes in, i'm still living out of those because one since i moved they had basically bought more clothes all the clothes that they bought there's no room to put my stuff back in the closet or the drawers so yeah and also i feel like since i am about to move back to the campus on January. There's no point in me unpacking everything just to pack it right back up. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm about to show you the before. I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to show you the after. Okay, like I said before, please don't do too much. But this is like my half of the dresser. And I need to straighten all this up. This is where I sleep. I don't have no sheet on my bed yet because I don't know what happened. But they said somehow my sheet disappeared. So I sleep on top of a cover. Um, here goes all my clothes that I need to fold. Need to fold, need to fold. And here goes my other counter with all my stuff on it. So I need to straighten this up as well. So it's really not too much. So yeah, it's really not too much to actually <clears throat> clean. I just gotta straighten stuff up and fold clothes. But I never thought I would put my room on the internet. But it's like, this is how I live. You know what I'm saying? It is what the fuck it is. Hopefully y'all not too judgmental that I don't have a sheet on my bed and i sleep on top of a cover but it's like i'm gonna get my sheet when i get my money so not too fucking much but yeah and while i clean up i decided that i'm gonna just watch the mount zion service on my computer while i clean up so that's basically gonna be like my background noise and my church for the week so yeah just come with me to clean my room Okay, so we're taking a break from cleaning. I got hungry, so we're taking a little, a little breaky break. And I'm eating my, hold on, hold on, let me get it together. Get it together. I'm eating my leftover wing stop. I got three lemon pepper and I got three uh, Parmesan garlic with the iconic wing stop ranch. And I'm also watching Stephanie Sue. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, y'all, so I just finished cleaning my room. So this is my side of the desk, my bed, the floor, and here goes this desk. And look who came to visit me. This is my dog, Yanny. Hi, baby. Oh, you good boy. Give the ball. Good boy. Good job. Boy. Okay, hey y'all. So I know 
the last time you see me, I just got done cleaning my room and I was going to end the video there. But since me and my friend Kayla are not going out anymore, I decided let me go ahead and do something to my hair. Because if we was going out, I was going to slick this up into a bun. But now since we're not going out, I might as well style it. You feel what I'm saying? And I decided that I want to do a braid out, but I want to stretch my hair before. And I did this like two years ago and it was so cute but i don't know i just never redid it and i feel like since my hair had grown a lot when i say a lot like a lot since i did it last i wanted to see how it turns out so this is my hair right now i could honestly like refresh a little bit and still wear it like this because it's kind of cute still but no, it's like green. Like if you feel my hair, it is so greasy. I haven't washed my hair for like two, three, four weeks. And I just be like refreshing it or just doing co-washes in it. But it's about that time to wash it. So I'm gonna wash it with this Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla um, shampoo and conditioner. And I'm not going to take y'all in the bathroom with me to wash my hair. Because y'all seen me wash my hair plenty of times. But I'm going to wash it twice with this. And then I'm going to let this sit in my hair for 10 minutes. Detangle it. And then I'm going to come back. Blow dry my hair. And then braid it up. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and wash my hair. Because, baby. This right here. Needs to get done. Hey, y'all. So, I just got out the shower. I washed and deep conditioned my hair. Ooh. Now I'm into blow it out. And when I blow dry my hair, I do not use heat protectant anymore, but I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do. The reason why I don't use it, one, because I don't have any, and two, I feel like I don't use heat on my hair that much for it to get damaged when I do use it, if that makes any sense. But if you do, I mean, if you are natural on the safe side, please, please, please use heat protectant. But yeah, I'm about to blow dry my hair with this blow dryer. When I say this is the best blow dryer, and I got it from Target for like $30. Like, it's like a comb and a blow dryer in one. So it's like you don't have to get a separate comb and hold the blow dryer. You just go ahead and swipe it past. And then after I got done blow dry, I'm going to start braiding. And I'm going to use this cream. It's the As I Am. This is the As I Am Twist Define Cream. And you need a thick cream that's not super water-based so your hair doesn't revert as much. So this is what it's looking like. It does look kind of nasty. I ain't used it in a minute. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna be using.
so I just parted my hair from the top and the back and like I said this is going to be a braid I'm not going to be actually wearing these braids out for real for real so the back I am not going to be parting so I'm going to just like free party it basically and I'm going to make the sections kind of big but not too big because I still want it defined so like this be my first row probably gonna put like three braids right here and close to the front i'm gonna part it just in case i do gonna wear these for a couple of days the front looks decent if that makes any sense so yeah let's go ahead and get started <laughs> Thank you. 
so I just finished the parade and I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of ugly, but I'm gonna let these sit in my head until my hair is fully dry. Then I'm gonna come back and take it out. So I'll see y'all in like 24, 48 hours. Hey y'all, so it's the next day and I'm about to take these braids out cause they are fully dry. And I'm about to go see my friend and I do not wanna wear these braids out because I'm not gonna lie. It's not giving, it's not giving. So I'm about to go ahead and take them out. And if you do have oil and you're doing this type of braid out, I highly, highly recommend that you use oil so it doesn't get as frizzy, but I don't have any oil, so we gonna see what it do, what it do. So I just got done taking the braids out, separating the curls, and I'm not going to lie to you, after I got done, it was ugly. I did not like it at all. I think it's the product that I use, and it didn't really give what it was supposed to give, and it made my hair real hard, so it's, it wasn't as fluffy as I needed it to be. So I just put the top in a bun, and I can't find my edge control, so I didn't get to slick the top up, and I didn't want to use Eco, because then it's going to revert my hair back. So I just put a headband on. But yeah, um, this hairstyle was a definite fail. But this is all I have for this video. I really hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.